Hello everyone. In this recording, I'm going to teach you how to write a speech. So please, you can be following me. I sent these notes. If you don't have the notes, let me know as soon as possible. By definition, a speech is a prepared piece of writing or information on a given topic. A speech is anything spoken for an audience to listen. It is basically a form address to a group of listeners. So in short, we are saying a speech is just a piece of writing that should be given to audience. We've got three types of speeches. One is introductory speech, and then the other one is speech of thanks or vote of thanks. And then the third one is the keynote speech or main speech. All the three have got commonalities in them. Okay. For example, all speeches have got the introduction, the main body, and the conclusion. Okay. And then factors to consider when you are writing a speech. Number one, consider the type of audience. Okay. Make sure you consider the type of audience. Are you speaking to lawyers, doctors, politicians? That must be in your consideration when you, whenever you are given um, a speech to write. Number two, the purpose of the speech. Speech. Make sure that uh, you understand well the meaning of your speech. Decide on whether the speech is uh, to form, to persuade, to entertain. You have to know all those things. Number three, the subject matter or topic. Ascertain whether the topic is familiar to the student, I mean to the audience, or not. And also determine how much information to give or hold back. You cannot review everything. Okay, so you have to limit yourself on the subject matter there. Remember, you have to consider the type of audience you are dealing with. Then the other one is the situation. A certain whether the situation or occasion is a solemn one. Morning or a business meeting, you also need to know the situation on which you are delivering your speech on. Then um, the preparation of the speech, like I always say, you have to go with your pen in English language when you are writing English paper. You have to always go with your pencil, rather. So the pencil will be there to help you to gather the necessary information or ideas on the subject matter or topic. Okay, and always the um, points must be in order, in chronological order or hierarchy. Okay, then you also need to plan before you write your speech. In most cases in the question papers, the speeches given are guided, whereby you'll be given as a point, say, then they'll ask you to select the valid or relevant points out of all the given points. And then uh, the other thing that you need to consider, so those uh, points see, and everything you can be going through, you follow, um, but for now, let's go to the format of a speech. One, a speech should have a title, okay? which should be in form of a, a sentence. Two lines are okay for a speech. Okay? You have to, in the, in the title, you have to mention the give of the speech, the occasion when the speech is delivered, the venue, the date, and the day. Those are major things that you need to consider um, you know, for the format of the, the speech under the title. The other thing is salutation. Here, you greet the people present and that must be in order for example if you are, you are delivering on behalf of the president or the the president is a guest of honor you need to begin in that order in that hierarchy the president the vice president cabinet ministers not the other way around so that is about that appreciate also the people who are present then you go to the main body the conclusion you are done with your speech the language used in speech mainly is present tense, okay? An order of hierarchy, we emphasize on this. The order must be upholded at every time. Okay, and then um, the, let's look at uh, the, um, all these I'll explain in the example. Let's quickly go to the example on how um, a speech is supposed to be written. We have an example here the 2011 question. The 2011 question was, um, you are a teacher of English at Wawa High School and you've been assigned to write 
a speech for your head teacher to be read at an award giving ceremony at your school. The guest of honor is the Minister of Education and then below are some of the points uh, that you've gathered or provided for you. So now there are points here that uh, they've given to you or these points here. Now below the question says using the relevant points only and presented in a logical order, write a speech for the head teacher. The length of your speech should be between 250 to 350 words. Any words beyond that will be cancelled. This is very, very important because if you exceed the limit, that whole thing will be cancelled. And remember, maybe that is where your points um, were. What will happen to that? You lose marks. And then they've also said you use only the relevant points. Not all the points given are important. Remember, the heading for this question is a speech to be read at an award-giving ceremony. So you only pick points that will be connecting this heading here. It's an award-giving ceremony. You cannot pick the points, for example, let me give you this example, cows graze near school. How is that, how is that connected to this heading? So such kind of points will not be under my speech. And also, these uh, points given here are not in order. Make sure you arrange them with your pencil. Put number one, number two, number three, number four. Arrange them in order. And now that does not give you each point to have its own, um, its own uh, paragraph. You can connect two, three, make a paragraph. Two, three, make a paragraph. That way, your speech will be well uh, written. So the example for this, how it's supposed to be written, the answer to this question is, um, you, you, it must have, your speech must have the title. In this case, it will be speech to be delivered at an award giving ceremony by the head teacher at our Wawa High School only 24-09-2015 at that time, which is 14 hours. So since this is in bold, for you, you underline, you write it in capital letters, you underline it. Very, very neat. Then you begin. How do you begin? The guest of honor, permanent secretary, provincial ed um, education officers, the devs, and everyone present there, you mention all of them, ladies and gentlemen, in that order. And then from there, you thank the people who are there. It is my rare privilege to welcome you, welcome them, for them to attend uh, that ceremony. The next thing is the, you thank all of them as well, that the guest of honor, madam, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to thank the PTA executive and everyone present there. There, at that point, you haven't even started writing the speech. And that is how the speech is supposed to start. You haven't started using the points, but immediately you begin with your title. You start counting the number of words, okay? And then now you can go straight into your speech using the points. Guest of honor, madam, ladies and gentlemen, last year we recorded an increase in our past rate, meaning I've used it, the first point there, okay? And I'll know that all the points must be in order. Then I'll continue. This is what we call the main body. So whatever you were saying on top there, that is the introduction. So now you have started with the main body there. The main body, it can be as many paragraphs as you can, but remember it's 250 to 350 words. And then when you are writing, please go uh, near 350 words. Don't limit yourself to, 250, to 250 words. Because not everything will be okay or will have value in your speech. So try by all means to be near 350 words there. Then you continue with your speech there. You write, you talk about all the points, you expand the points in detail, and then at the end, you conclude your speech. I thank you all for your attendance, and may God bless you. Don't sign on the speech. You end it just there. And that is how we write the speech. So the question I gave you was about the motiv motivation speaker. Imagine that you are the motivation speaker and the school has asked you to write 
um, a speech to be delivered on uh, to be delivered on that occasion, so that you encourage the learners or the pupils at that school. Remember, not all points given in that question will be um, used. Only understand the meaning of uh, the speech. So those are the only points that you consider. So please take note of that and you write it properly. Make sure you write and send it to me. Thank you.